you can enable BitLocker drive encryption without a TPM chip. If you go to your start menu, type BitLocker and open manage BitLocker options. In here, we have the option to turn on the BitLocker. If I click on this option, I end up with an error message saying, this device can use a trusted platform module. Your administrator must set allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM option in the required additional authentication at startup policy for OS volume. If you end up with this error message, you can get past this to enable your BitLocker drive encryptions. To bypass this, what you can do is to make sure that you are logged into your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine with an administrator account, in other words, a Windows administrator account, and open the start menu and type run. Open the run application, and in here, type gpedit.msc, gpedit.msc, and click OK. If you do not have an administrative account, you will not be presented with all these options that we see here on the left-hand pane. So make sure that you have an administrative account so that you have access to all of these options. On the left-hand pane, we will go under computer configuration. We will expand the administrative templates. Then we will expand the Windows components. Under Windows component, we have this section called BitLocker Drive Encryption. So we're going to expand the BitLocker Drive Encryption. Here, we're going to click on the option called Operating System Drives. On the right-hand pane, under the Operating System Drive section, we have several settings we can configure. What we are interested in is the Require Additional Authentication at Startup option require additional authentication at startup. So you can either double click on this or right click and go edit, either or, and it will open up the console for the required additional authentication startup options and currently it is not configured. You need to set this to enable and make sure allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM require a password or startup key on a USB flash drive option and make sure that that particular option is checked off. So make sure this is checked off and click apply and click OK. On the console, it will show that it is enabled now. So we can close the console and you can go back to your start menu and type BitLocker and open the BitLocker drive encryption options. And now if I click on turn on BitLocker option right here, it will bypass that error message and you will be able to go through the setup process. You can either use a USB flash drive or a password to set up your BitLocker encryption. I highly recommend that you use BitLocker encryption on your mobile devices such as laptops because this way you can protect your data in case you lose your device. If you have any questions or concerns regarding how I enable the BitLocker drive encryption without a TPM chip, please feel free to reach out to me. Please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a nice day.